What up, Greater Long Beach? Welcome back to the Press Telegram. It's Chris. And JJ, this video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to host your team's next event. We are breaking down the San Gabriel Valley League, and it has been a three-way tie the last three years in this league. Yeah, fourth time's a charm, I guess. Dominguez Don's one of the teams that won the SGVL last season, and Keith Donerson in his 29th year with the program, really excited about his team. They only lose five starters, and one of those is going to be Aaron Fleming, but they got a big quarterback, six foot two, Ronald Smith, back in there. He was tight end last year, so he knows this system. The strength of this team is going to be that three-headed rushing attack they like to call Lightning, Storm, and Thunder with Henry Williams, Keith Harrison, and Big Josh Ford. Yeah, Harrison and Ford really did damage in the playoff last year, and that's how the Dominguez Dons got through those playoffs was that strong running attack. They also got their big banger at fullback and defensive line, Samuela Niapalusu, so they're going to be big up front again. Yeah, they were last year, as a lot of teams found out the hard way. They only lose two guys on that defense that gave up eight points per game in 2013, one of the league's best, one of the area's best. Jerome Hall's going to step in there for Miracle Kemp's vacated corner spot. He's big, he's lanky, he should be good for them. And then also at the safety position, they got... Carson transfer Markel Dismuke, one of the top 10 ranked safeties in the class of 2016. Also a part of that three-way tie atop the SGVL last year is three-time champion Paramount Pirates. Yeah, they really want to go for that fourth, but they also want to get out of the first round of that playoffs. They do have new quarterback Cash Maluya coming in big, dual threat, and Howard loves him, and he's going to have some weapons. Yeah, Cash has some money on the outside, including Utah commit Donzel Roddy. Great catch. Th this was last year against Dominguez. He led the team with over 500 yards receiving. They also got the small but mighty Marvin Lard coming back. He is just gone in a second there in this clip. You also got Gregory Filer, uh, big guy, going to play safety also with uh, Roddy back there. Yeah, Munchie was a big-time player in some of those games down the stretch that last year. This is a touchdown against Wilson. They also got a young line, but Hilario Hernandez and Anthony Puglia come back to lead that unit right there. And also on defense, the heart is going to be six foot four Joseph Williams, who led the league in sacks with nine last year. Also a defending champion in the SGVL, also looking for a four-peat, the Downey Vikings. Yeah, they're really excited. I mean, a lot of fans are going to look at them and say, no Jorge Reyna, what's up with the Vikings? But no, they still have Justin Huff, a 2,000-yard rusher, all-CIF player. He's back, and he's looking to bust back into the 1,000-yard range after going for 800 last season. Yeah, that offense was so good last year. Tough for them to get back to that point, but they've got two sophomores they like. Yeah, Kobe Lagarde and Trevor Hill, both guys Jack William really likes for them to lead this offense. Um, but whoever's going to be blocking for them, it's going to be a question mark. They do have a really young line, but they got Gio Deloria coming back. He's big, he's mean, and he's going to be anchoring that at the tackle position. Defense is a strength for this team, especially in the secondary where they've got three-year starters everywhere. Yeah, Jason Thomas right there, Jacob Cook um, at his safety spot. All, all seniors, all three-year starters. Edward Presidio going to make this big sack right here against Milliken. Um, and they also got a four-star linebacker in Darian Franklin going to lead that middle group which also has two new starters, but they should be well on defense. Over at Linwood, the Knights are looking for a bounce back year under Kendrick Knox, but they've been trying to bounce back for a few years in a row. Can this first year coach be the answer? Yeah, he really believes so. I mean, he's putting in a new spread offense, going to be led by Daryl Robinson, a three-year starter, senior, 4.0 GPA, really smart. Um, they're going to have a lot of weapons. Ty Sanchez, close to 900 yards last season, seven point yards per carry and nine touchdowns. They've also got a big tackle up front, Mikel White, protecting Robinson and uh, those holes for Sanchez and some other guys. I mean, they've got weapons over there in purple and gold. Oh, yes, yeah, so many. Dante Spotville, Vincent White, D'Angelo Buchanan, Rashid Cox. Guys, Robinson has been throwing to since he was in middle school. So watch out for these Knights in the San Gabriel Valley League. Over at Gar, they're throwing the ball around as they always do. And they think they can make some noise this year with quarterback Malik Smith. Yeah, and like the Knights, they also have a lot of weapons. Justin Garrett, Deja Pickett. Um, and then their, their lead guy, their guy they're really high on, Leotis Johnson. They also got some good sophomores in Alonzo Davis and uh, Eric Sperlin. And they're going to be scoring a lot, but the key for them is going to be on defense, according to Greg Marshall. So we'll see what the Gladiators can do in the San Gabriel Valley League. Last but certainly not least, the Warren Bears getting a lot of attention, not because of their 128-1 record over the last three years, more because former Poly High coach Raul Lara is on the scene. Yeah, and they have a potentially exciting dual-threat quarterback in Jordan Yancey to lead this offense for these Bears. Raul Laura also really likes this fullback he discovered in practice, Zaki Fuyava. He's got big hopes for him. Just a sophomore, really young and really exciting. Some of those weapons they're going to have on the outside is David Escobedo, Ulysses Coda, 
and then Joseph Vargas, just a freshman who Laura's also really high on. If a coach like Laura's spotting talent in practice, Bears fans have got to be excited because he knows what he's doing. Overall, Warren very excited about the future and hoping they can put the W back in Warren. San Gabriel Valley League, probably just gonna end up in a three-way tie though. If you want to find out if that actually does happen, you got to stick with us at the Press Telegram all season long where you will get the best coverage of local high school football.